Now this is a story all about how he Bro, bro, bro. If this is a story, bro, then what you singing for? But just read, but just just read. I, I, but why why can't I rap the story, bro? Like what No, I, no, no. Just read. Dang. Well, alright then. Now, this is a story all about how a young man and his family flew out of town. On the way to Miami, with passports in hand, they went to another country to explore the land. Well, really, they just went to. Wait, 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 wait. Don't spoil the story, boy. Just read. Well, my bad, boy. You ain't gotta be so pushy with it. <laughs> anyway, after finding the place where they'd rest their heads, they could have stayed in but hit the road instead. And their first stop, you guessed it, probably. I don't know, typical fashion. First stop we gotta go to is Wally. With pineapples, coconut, and more in the trolley, we still found space for something more jolly. And though in a foreign land and a different venue, I still had to say, I love you. Take it. You read it? Since food was on the counter and in the fridge too, it was time to get some rest in preparation for day two. Check in the job. When it's time to wake up tomorrow. Tight. Good morning. <laughs> we had to get up early, for there was no time to waste. But first things first, breakfast, the most important meal of the day. Then we were off, time to go and hit the streets. And not too long after, Keisha and I got new seats. If shopping was our jobs, we would have fun fight. Because after a few hours, we were already sleepy and tired. Still, we shopped and shopped and shopped until shopping was done. And as a nice reward, we went to Chili's for lunch. With our stomachs full and a long day's work, we called it an early night and slept until the birds chirped. Next time you see me, it'll be Friday and Saturday, Jesus will be getting crucified. Yeah, that's sad. But anyway, see you next time. Alright, it's another day. Let's get this thing going. Up, up, and away! For a brand new day, as we did some fit checks through the halls. The name of the game for day three was Tinks, as it was time to hit up the malls. On our way inside, someone caught my eye, so I had to give her a holler. And ever so smoothly, I ran to her side and asked, Can I have a number? <laughs> Wait, you realize that's your wife, right? Yeah, what's your point? So you didn't really have to ask her for, you know what, it ain't nothing, buddy. Yeah. That's what I thought, buddy. Stop interrupting me. Now, as I was saying, it was time to shop and shop and shop while I danced with myself in the mirror. And with bag after bag after bag in my hand, it was time for a quick break and a fill up. The end of the day was drawing near and well, someone was feeling themselves. So to wrap up the day, we decided to play some games that we found on the shelves. And just like that, day three was over. So what, no rhyme or nothing to end day three? Bro, now that I think about it, who even let you in here, buddy? As a matter of fact, you can leave now. You should leave now. Just go. My bad, buddy. You ain't gotta be so mean with it. <laughs> Carry on. Well, actually, it seems as if my book is missing a few pages and I don't have that much content from day four. So, here's a picture of us at Aventura Mall, a video of us walking, leaving the mall, a Chick-fil-A sign because, well, who doesn't like Chick-fil-A, and the sound of sweet, sweet victory. What you saying over there, bro? Ain't, ain't nothing, but don't worry about it. Anyway, back to the story. Good morning. You look so pretty. 
Look pretty. <laughs> Our last full day began with all smiles, an outfit that matched once again. After stuffing our faces with some really good food, it was time to go shopping again. Well, that's lazy writing. How you could rhyme again with again? Well, you can meet something else then. Shopping with friends, shopping with Ben, shopping at 10, shopping next gen. You realize none of them go with the story, right? Exactly. As the ladies went on and shopped till they dropped, I decided that I would just vibe. But it didn't take long for me to get bored and watch people pass by outside. After one last stop to the great Walmart, we sat and ate dinner one final time. While watching TV, we enjoyed our last meal. For tomorrow, it was time to say goodbye. But why you make it seem like you always dying or something, mate? What do you mean, bro? One last stop, one final time, last meal. Time to say goodbye, because something was dying. Well, what? The trip. Wait, just finish the story. Lights off, doors closed, and mirror pick saying goodbye. We left our Airbnb and took off with NASA on our minds. We passed CSA, walked through the hallways, and before we knew it, we were in the sky. As we landed back home, a Kong Chell made it known that our trip had ended. <sighs> Sigh. But what type of ending that is? I mean, who likes to come back from trips? Going is the fun part. Coming back is always like, ugh. Uh, I guess you're right. You know, I kind of like that story. Where's the next one? Well, you have to subscribe to find out because I don't know. Ah, uh, uh, okay then. Yep. Yep. Hey. Do you think I could come along next time? No. No? No. No? No.